Good morning, friends. A terrifying road rage incident caught on cell phone video. Stop! Stop it! Stop! Wow. Some scary moments for the driver and her six-year-old granddaughter, who's in the back seat. Sherry Hastings recorded that video, and she joins us this morning from Raleigh, North Carolina. Sherry, thanks for being with us. Looks awful. Thank you for letting me be here today. Uh, describe what happened. You're on a two-lane road, and and what happens when this before this woman begins this rampage. Uh, before the filming, she had been behind me, and I looked in my mirror, and all I saw was the hood of her truck. And I tapped my brakes to get her attention. Maybe she was distracted, and uh, she got irate. Went tried to go around me, and almost had a head-on collision with somebody else. She got back behind me. And then the second time, once the car passed, she got in front of me. I backed out of it to give her the road, and she about ran me off the road there. And that's when I called 911, let them know there was an aggressive driver. And I just had my phone there, and I threw it on camera and put it on my little camera holder on the dashboard where I usually hold my GPS and said, we'll see where this goes. I said, going to be good. Unbelievable. And you had just gotten back surgery, so you, and you had a disability sticker on your car. You're driving slowly. you got a granddaughter in the car. It's starting to rain a little bit, so you're being cautious there on some of these back roads. And she didn't like that. First of all, one of the most annoying things in the world is having someone tailgate, you know, ride right up yes. on your rear. And so you look up and see her hood of the car, and you just tap on the brakes and say, get off my tail a little bit. And that just yes. set her over the edge. I guess that's all it took. <laughs> what was it, though, when she was in front of you, what made her stop the car and get out and go around and, and try to reach into the car as you're rolling the window up? I am really not sure what brought that on. I mean, when I put the camera in the window and everything, the first thing, the only thing I was thinking is if something happens. I was only a couple miles away from home, and I live off that road, and there was really no place to turn off. And I was just trying to keep safe distance between her and I. We and... Yeah, we hear your was, granddaughter in that video screaming, too. Yes. What, what? I never expected her in a million years would I have expected her to stop, run off the road, have another accident, involve somebody else, maybe. But no, I did not expect the extreme that it went to. Where's this woman today? She's out there somewhere. <laughs> She's uh, out there somewhere. On, yes, this happened on Saturday at about 1130 in the morning. And uh, the police reports were filed and everything that day. Uh, by the time Stop. Monday, Stop I went to the sheriff's office and turned in the video. They said they were going to do whatever they could do. And I went home. I proceeded. There was something that I had left out with the sheriff's office. That I was just trying to get a hold of the detective to tell him. I got no calls back. After Monday, I didn't know where she was at. I'm scared to leave the house because that was her house there. And Monday, no calls back. Tuesday, no calls back. Wednesday morning, calling again, still no calls. And I just kind of got upset, and I said, this is ridiculous. They're going to let this slide. So I just sent the video to Fox 8. And right. Yeah, wow, she's out here there. we are. The information that we have is that she turned herself in late Monday, but now she's out on bond. Uh, yes, Sherry, she got out that night. Thank you so much for sharing your story, and uh, we hope you and your granddaughter are recovering okay from that emotional experience. And Making should, the best out of a bad thing, so. <laughs> yeah, we should mention her name, Kristen Lee Phillips, as well. Uh, Sherry, thanks so much. You're Come so up. welcome. Thank you.